Swine flu information poster in Dublin Airport to remind everybody to be really, really terrified of swine flu. And be afraid of Africa. The and be afraid of Africa, the source of all disease. Right. We're here today at Dublin Airport We're trying to hand out some very important information about body scanners and about fake bombers. We, uh, this is our little piece of work. We have some lovely information on the back to prove everything we say, because don't believe a word we say, remember. And uh, we didn't last very long in there, I'm afraid. They rounded us all up and threw us all out. Very nicely, of course, but uh, throwed us out, they did. Is it the lads, of course? Say hello, lads. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, We've got some new recruits here. Well, it's one new recruit here. This is Rory. And uh, here's some Adam and Alan who have been here before. Colin and Paul. Well, what we're going to do today. What we're going to do now is see if we can get away with handing a few of these out outside the area, outside the main building, see if we can get thrown out of the airport completely and <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> Thank you. 
pantalones de jeans. We think it's uh, kind of violation for you. The, uh, the X-ray machines, if you were travelling, oh yeah, we're um, a lot, yeah, maybe six months, if you were travelling a lot, they 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 they, they do they do something I'd rather, anyway. But you, you'd wonder about the uh, about about what's going on with with, with all these little uh, terror attacks. This one here, the last one that they've been talking about on Christmas Day, the guy actually managed to get on the uh, the plane with no. Uh, You've got nothing to be scared. Of. Well, um, it's, a, it's 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 an invasion of privacy in its own way, isn't it? I'd rather all my privacy be invaded by these things. I wouldn't personally. I, I think that's that uh, I, I don't know about what they say about being safe. Well, the um, the guy who got, got gone on actually the airport that he went in, the guy on Christmas Day had the body scanners equipped, and um, he got on the plane without a passport. He had no passport. And he was let on the plane because uh, that's, that's a different story. It's a, yeah, it's, it's a very young, like it's like the the whole thing might have been set up to uh, to get to get this whole thing. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, take, a, I take your point, but I think it yeah. doesn't matter how much you respect your privacy, so how much you respect Why is it by security. You run, it, it, there should be a line, though, about how, how far it goes. Like, I think, uh, like, personally, myself going through an airport, I wouldn't like uh, just to be scanned completely nude and have someone someone watching you on the other side. It doesn't make you naked. It's, easy, it's easier, uh, you can see your skin, it's different. The x-ray machines that we'd use to scan bones reflect, they, 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 they use the information that's actually penetrated the skin. Yeah. What they do is they use the information that bounces off the skin to, to actually read. Well, uh, read it. Do, and there's some links on the back. But thanks for listening. There's a study from MIT here that says they damage human DNA and they're very intrusive privacy-wise. And they're saying that this is the only way to stop these evil terrorists. So just for your own information, have a look to what you think. Thanks very much. Thanks for that. Thank you. 